Hello everyone, this is Brooke and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to do my monthly favorites for the month of May, which went by way too fast. I love May and I love the weather and the flowers and all that stuff, but it just goes by so fast. Well anyway, now we're in June and I've reflected back on the month of May and I would just like to show you the five products that kind of stuck out in my mind for the month. First of all, I guess I'll show you what has been my pedicure polish for the month. I've been using this Tom Ford nail polish. It is in the color called Indian Pink. It's number six. And the swatch of it looks like this. It's a very pretty pink color. It came out of the bottle looking a little bit different than it does in the bottle. I saw a very blue, blue-based fuchsia, hot pink color in the bottle. But in the real life, it was a little bit more, you can see a little bit more um, red or yellow based. And um, at first, it just threw me for a loop, but I've had it on for a few days now, and I just love it. And it's lasting very well. So I just wanted to point that out for the month. The next pr product is the Lip Glass by MAC, and it's in the pop mode color. It is one of my favorites is what I have on right now. I have it on all by itself. It has a nice little color to it. I'll swatch it for you right here on my hand in case you can't see what it looks like very well on my lips. It's a nudie pink color. It gives you a nice metallic sheen and it lasts for a very long time. It's pretty opaque as you can tell with it on my hand that I don't require a, a lipstick base or anything. And I think it's a nice bright color for spring. It's just kind of a balance to um, some of the bold looks and hot pinks and fuchsias that I've been wearing. And as far as eyes go, like I said, my eyes have been in horrible condition. So I had to stop wearing mascara and um, I haven't been wearing a lot of eyeshadow. I've been taking a color either Sable by MAC or Star Violet by MAC and just kind of lightly putting a color wash around my entire eye. And then I go in with a little bit deeper color and put that in my crease. You can see what I'm doing right here. It's not a lot of color, not a lot of drama, nothing. But um, as far as eyeliner, I've had to lay off of most of my eyeliner because um, rubbing really smudges it and you look like a raccoon before you know it. So what I've done is I've switched over to Carbon Eyeshadow by MAC. It's a basic flat black matte color that I've been using with a thin brush to provide my eyeliner look and a little bit of eyeliner underneath. It's been working very well. It goes on soft and smooth which is great for irritated allergy eyes and it comes off right away. It comes off completely. So that has been working well for me. It's something that I could put on in a thin line like I have today or it's something that I could put on in the thin line and smoke out in the corners. It's been a very versatile look, but I went back into my stash and I'm so glad that I pulled out the Carbon by MAC because it's been very, very good for my eye looks lately. And then going on with the eye theme, I just wanted to point out that I've been using this eye makeup remover by Sephora. It um, is just called Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. It's the blue solution. It's one you wear, it's like, um, it separates, so when you see it, it'll be clear solution on the top and then the blue on the bottom. You have to shake it up very well before you use it. I just wanted to say that it does work well. It, the days that I did wear, you know, heavy eyeliner or mascara, it took that off very well, but I wanted to point it out for people that suffer from allergy eyes too. And it doesn't burn allergy eyes like some other eye makeup removers do. So if you've been rubbing a lot or if your eyes have been just irritated, the last thing you want to do is go over them with a, a heavy solution or an irritating product. I just wanted to say that this has been working out well. I don't use it too much now that I haven't been wearing much eye makeup, but when I do, I am all right with it. So it looks like this. I'll hold it close. And it's by Sephora. The last thing that I want to show you that I've been using this month and that's come in very handy is the Instant Mineral SPF by Peter Thomas Roth. It looks like this. It comes in the yellow tube and it is basically sunscreen in a powder form. You know, it's really easy in the morning when you put on your uh, moisturizer. My moisturizer has SPF 30 and my foundation that I wore last summer had SPF 15. So I left in the morning with pretty nice sunscreen coverage, 
But by the afternoon and a beating sun, I was worried that, you know, the sunscreen has lost its effectiveness, that it melted off or whatever. And rather than taking off all your makeup and reapplying more sunscreen, the people at Sephora told me about this product and I was glad that it was made by Peter Thomas Roth because I really do trust that brand. And it basically is sunscreen in the powder form. It's a, a a uh, light powder in here that's translucent. You don't see it on your skin, but you take it out and um, I'll see if you can. You see it? I don't know if you see it coming off, but I've just put it on my skin right there. It dusts a light film of, uh, you see it coming in the white part right there. It dusts a light layer of SPF on your skin and it doesn't dull your makeup. It makes it look actually more matte and freshens it up if you've gone through the day and you're really getting oily or, or um, dewy looking from the heat. And it's great now because I either keep it in my purse or in my car because I have a convertible. I always like to dust my nose before I t put the top down and drive for a while because you know I don't want the sunglasses to give me the raccoon look. And um, you know just get a little bit on my forehead, cheeks, and nose and it, it, it lasts for several hours. Like I said it is SPF 45 and the light dusting is all you need. So that was pretty much my five favorite products for the month of May. Thank you so much. I hope you're going to have a wonderful month of June and I hope your May was fantastic. Thanks for watching my videos and I'll be back soon. Bye bye.